Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm going to take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. <laughs> Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One-way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. <laughs> Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have, yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. How can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Please. <laughs> so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that you're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen, we want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey, hey, you don't like my offer? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead.
So this is where you sprang from. Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Do you ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? A 15-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something, or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous, but it might be a good spot to hide. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. Enough. I've been in your peep room, Hopgood. I've seen your smut pictures in the camera setup. You made a movie of Jessica. I found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never film their faces. June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. He went apeshit when he realized his face was front and center. Who has the film now? Who else? McAfee. Ballard had what she wanted. Where does the money come into it? What money? Enough of the lies. I told you, I get my cut selling dirty movies. Your ex was getting 20 large from Bishop. If I wanted to skim 20 from Bishop, we'd do it through the movie budget. June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but Guy wanted cash. He's in a cash-only business. You think I had a choice in this? That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? 
Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives. Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. I don't think they liked your little pep talk, the cow. Let's see him chase us now. Onto the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. Any sentry into the 415 possible mental case at 7th and Flower, unit to handle code 3 identified. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. 11K calling KGPL, requesting assistance at 8th in Francisco, the abandoned movie set. My partner is pursuing. We're trying to help you, Bishop! Code 3. This is KGPL. all a big mistake!
It's us or McAfee's boys. Your choice. I didn't do anything. Bishop, that's enough! That girl made it all up! Don't make this any harder on yourself, Bishop! in the air, Bishop! Move. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need, we need to get out of here. All right, you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAvee's boys the trouble. Follow me! I know another way out of this place. Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me! Last chance to back the hell down! Kathy doesn't make the rules, you hear me? It's this way. Kill them for God's sake! I don't want to die! You're making a big mistake. There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. Find some cover! They're everywhere. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Really, the best McAfee's got? You have to get me out of here. There's a ladder leading to the ground. This is insanity! For the love of God, how many are there? Get them over here! I'll cover you! Come on! The cavalry's here! down and your head up.
way! Get into the car! I can cover you from here! You're almost there! Find some cover! Stay down. Now this is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice for Capital J, Detective Phelps. You developed such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, right? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll get a table ready for you. Then. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Just through the door. He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LABD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? 